Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. And Unaka Fiji in this bulletin, Tropical Cyclone Alert issued. Man breaks confinement rules. And Fijians can now access own FNPF funds. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nair. A tropical cyclone alert has been issued for Yasawa, Mamanuda Group, Kandavu, Viti Levu and nearby smaller islands, Lomai Viti and Southern Lao Group. At 12 a.m. today, TC Herald was located about 950 kilometers west-northwest of Nandi. On the current track, the cyclone center is expected to be about 690 kilometers west of Nandi at about midday or 380 kilometers west of Nandi at midnight tonight. Maximum sustained winds near the center close to 110 knots or about 200 kilometers per hour. As TC Herald moves closer to Fiji, associated rain bands with northerly windy conditions can be expected before the center passes. Fiji now has 14 confirmed COVID-19 cases, with two more people testing positive. Prime Minister Voreng Mbani Marama has revealed that patient 13 is the wife of the man from Lambasa and was taken into isolation two days before being diagnosed positive. The second new case is the sister of Fiji's very first case, the flight attendant from Lotoka. Kuroi Tandulala reports this was a case the health ministry had long been expecting. The Prime Minister says both cases are close contacts of previous patients and both were already in isolation when the symptoms developed, lowering the risk of further transmission. Yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, after the second round of confirmation testing, Fiji confirmed that our twelfth case of COVID-19 was in fact the daughter-in-law of case number nine. The gentleman in Lambasa who returned from India on the 22nd of March. Relentless measures by the health ministry and its frontline workers should assure the public that health personnel are on top of their game in curbing the spread of COVID-19. The second new case is the sister of Fiji's very first case, the flight attendant from Lotoka. This was a case we have long been expecting. She is the young mother of an existing case, the COVID-positive uh, one-year-old baby boy and she chose to stay in isolation with the child to continue to breastfeed and care for him. The Prime Minister continues to echo the same advice that's been reiterated time and again by other ministers over the past few weeks on personal hygiene. Stay at home. Save lives. I know it's not uh, always easy, but staying at home is the best way we beat this virus. It is also the best way all of us can honor the sacrifices of our officers and our healthcare heroes serving in on the front lines of the war against coronavirus in our hospitals, in our fever clinics, contact uh, training teams, and isolation wards. Fever testing teams, meanwhile, have screened 10,000 Fijians in the Lautoka confined area. This is in addition to more than 30,000 who were screened up to Saturday afternoon. Kuroitandulala, FBC News. Meanwhile, the government will be announcing a new confined area within Lotoka this morning. Prime Minister Boring Mbaini Marama says they plan to lift the lockdown of the broader Lotoka confined area. However, a new confined area will be declared after health officials found a man who was not only displaying symptoms but also had a recent travel history, which the PM says the man was hiding from officials. He arrived in Fiji on the 24th, 24th of March from Uruguay, transiting through Singapore. Now you might be wondering how this gentleman arrived in Lotoka when the lockdown came into effect on the 19th of March. After further questioning, we discovered that he had in fact smuggled his way into the confined area. Once inside, it appears he remained within a set area of Lotoka. Now that he's uh, showing symptoms, our contact tracing teams are determining how many Fijians he may have put at risk. 
Workers not directly funded through the Employment Benefit Scheme will now be able to withdraw up to $1,000 from their FNPF accounts. Economy Minister A.S. Sayed Kayum says these include people who have been FNPF members for some time but now have their own businesses. He says application forms for this assistance will roll out from Thursday. There's quite a few people in that situation and they can take up to $1,000 depending on how much they're eligible to take out from the general account. Up to, or rather within 24 hours, up to yesterday afternoon, the Fiji Center for Disease Control undertook 23 COVID-19 tests, of which two came back positive. Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Chemesa Tundrabu says case 13 is the mother of patient 3, who is the one-year-old nephew of Fiji's first case. The mother was admitted at the Nandi Hospital and has been in isolation ever since the confirmation of case 3. Dr. Tundrabu says the 14th case is the wife of case 9. He says the woman is a direct contact of case 9 and is more than 60 years old. She has chronic diseases and is isolated in Lambasa Hospital. So at the moment we remain with four clusters um, of uh, COVID-19 patients and the two new, uh, newly diagnosed cases. Uh, constitute uh, members of cluster um, uh, one and cluster three. Police Commissioner Brigadier General uh, Siti Velingilio has stated police can't position officers at every inch of the ground considering our geographical outlook. Gilio made this statement following a report of a man who managed to sneak through the borders to enter Lotoka. He also made a stand that the force is on standby to protect the confined area within Lotoka. The terrain that, uh, that we're dealing with uh, there in the Lotoka uh, area is rugged hill country that we have to deal with. There's rivers uh, and creeks that we have to deal with. Thick, densely, uh, uh, thick and dense, uh, den, uh, dense forest areas that we have to deal with. We've got the seafront to, the, to deal with. And that's all that we have to lo look after. And you know, we can't position a policeman at every inch of that ground. So. There are gaps there uh, that we rely on the responsibility of people that we are co and also covering with technology that we've recently acquired. Meanwhile, police are yet to establish a temporary confinement or holding area for Fijians who continue to breach the curfew and lockdown. The Methodist Church of Fiji are live streaming all their church services on Facebook as they observe the Holy Week. In light of the COVID-19 crisis, Reverend Dr. Emmanuel Rubin says this year's Holy Week celebrations will be different given the government's directive to minimize movement in an effort to contain coronavirus. Reverend Dr. Rubin is urging everyone to follow the orders from relevant authorities in these trying times. During the Holy Week, a week-long celebration is normally observed by Christians, which ends on Easter. We are putting up on our Facebook Live a uh, program on Holy Week both in Hindi and in English. It is important for our people to prepare for Easter. This Holy Week, starting today, uh, leads right up to the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Coming up, cost-cutting measures at 4FRU. And athletes urged to stay focused. Welcome back. The Fiji Rugby Union has implemented cost-cutting measures due to COVID-19 to ensure the financial integrity and sustainability of the union. Chief Executive John O'Connor says they've decided to take this step in view of limited activities and the financial challenges faced by the union. 
EFRU CEO says the decision was made after discussions with World Rugby and FRU partners. Rugby House will also be closed until further notice. O'Connor says they take, they'll take further cost-cutting measures such as leave without pay should the situation not improve in the near future. Some staff will work three days a week while others with leave balances will continue to take that leave. Team Fiji athletes will have to adjust themselves in the current situation so they don't lose sight of their Olympic dream. Fasanok Chief Executive Lorraine Ma is optimistic athletes will rise above the challenge and stay on track, even with the restrictions in place. Ma adds even though the new dates for the Tokyo Olympics have been confirmed, when athletes will be able to return to full training is unclear. I think it's important for them to know that they're not alone. You know, they have around them people who can help. And, uh, and we'll definitely be reaching out to them. We don't know how long we're going to be in this kind of an environment where uh, we actually you know, at the mercy of this um, pandemic. National bowlers have been urged to continue their individual training despite the deferment of the World Outside Bowling Championship. With the championship now, championship now pushed back another year, Team Fiji will have ample time to train. Bowling Fiji Secretary Philip Lacey says this will allow bowlers to brush up on their skills and fitness. We have another full 12 months to get ready for the Games next year, so in that respect it's probably good for Fiji. Samoa's first eSports team is fighting to prove themselves in a nation obsessed by physical sport. No major change on the weather front, showers and thunderstorms over most places. And that's your FPC Morning News. Join us again at 1pm and 7pm for our major bulletin. Remember, in times of crisis, you need factual news that you can trust. Stop believing fake news about COVID-19 on social media. Fight misinformation by getting only the facts about the coronavirus from verified news sources like FPC's TV, radio and digital media news www.fpcnews.com.fj Keeping Fijians connected with the truth. हमारे खूबसूरत देश फिजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही है क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई एम सी टेन आई एम तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप